Joining us now is Mark Polymeropoulos, a former senior intelligence officer at the CIA, responsible for overseeing all of its operations in Europe and Eurasia. He is currently a non-resident uh, senior fellow at the Atlantic Council and also the author of Clarity in Crisis, Leadership Lessons from the CIA. Mark, it, it's great to have you here. It seems like it wasn't so long ago. We were just discussing the detainment of another American, Brittany Griner. And of course, uh, it was brought up. Paul Whelan remains in custody. But when you talk about Griner and this case involving Evan Gerskovich, how do you think those cases differ? Well, they're, they're different in, in a sense in, in terms of the charges, but they're the same uh, because this is just Russian hostage taking. Look, the, you know, the Russians do this. They will, they will nab an American uh, based on kind of just totally trumped up sham charges because they want something in return. Uh, I'm not sure if we know exactly what that is. There's, there's a Russian intelligence officer in a legal uh, who is in jail in Brazil now. There's a Russian intelligence officer who has been charged with murder in jail in Germany. And so it's always possible that, that, that you know, this is, this is what ultimately the Russians have in mind, which, of course, uh, you know, gives us a great deal of worry that um, this case here, what's happening in the, in the Moscow courtroom, you know, it, it might be in for the, for the long haul. Because, again, uh, the Russians want something in return, and, uh, and we're going to find out in the days and weeks to come. It's obviously such a, a delicate dance, so to speak, a uh, very complicated situation when you're talking about an American in custody and how can you get them freed, right? But I wonder, do you think Russia was emboldened in some way after the prisoner swap involving Brittany Griner? Well, I do. And of course, you know, there, there's something really important to note. It was wonderful Brittany Griner came home for the, you know, for the holidays with her family. But the Biden administration made that trade um, which was, you know, many of us, uh, you know, noted was was frankly an un, un, uneven trade because Victor Bout, who the U.S. had in custody, was a notorious arms dealer, a Russian military intelligence officer. But the, but the Biden administration made that trade knowing that in some sense it rewards hostage taking. That's, of course, why you hear the State Department, you know, have, they've repeatedly announced all Americans get out of Russia. Uh, but the administration did this knowing that it could embolden the Russians, and, and the fact of the matter is, is, is it did. What's surprising is in the past, you know, an American passport for a journalist, you know, was something that was important um, for, for, again, the, the, the American media to be working in, in Moscow safely and Russia safely. That is not the case anymore, clearly. In fact, Gerskovich is the first American reporter to be arrested on espionage charges since 1986, almost 40 years ago, during the days of the Cold War. Do you think other journalists on the ground in Russia are in danger right now? Oh, for sure. So this is, this, you know, so th what, what Russia's done here is not only try to, uh, you know, uh, take an American hostage in, in order to gain the release of, uh, of perhaps some of their officials held overseas, but it's also um, a, a pretty strong statement about the press freedom or lack of. I mean, there, there is no, no rule of law. Uh, in Russia. And, and frankly, over the last several years, there has been a surprisingly, uh, at times, free press um, uh, in, in, in Russia. That's not the case anymore. So this is absolutely, you know, uh, something that I think is, is shocking a lot of, uh, of reporters and journalists um, inside. And it's going to absolutely curtail press freedom. Um, but, and, that, and that is by design. That, this is, this is yep. what Vladimir Putin wanted to do. And I think it's probably yep. been successful. Mark Polymeropoulos, great to have you here. Thank you so much for sharing your insights and expertise.